Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nidia J, and today's video is going to be a testing video. So I've got a lot of Revolution products that I really want to test out, see how they perform, and yeah, see if we can create a cute look. Before we actually start the video, I want to say that um, for those of you who know, um, I've been kind of off social media for a little while. Um, we, I've had a couple of passings in my family. Before we start, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to those of you who reached out to me. I know you wouldn't have felt my absence over the last few weeks because I've been uploading constantly, but thank God for bulk video recording. So I've had content to upload for you guys, so you haven't felt my absence. But some of you who know me personally know that I've been off social media for the past couple of weeks, um, just a little bit off and on, very distant and very reserved. It's just because, you know, for every strong person, there is a point where you feel like things get on top of you and you feel like the whole world is slipping out of your hands and you break, basically. And I feel like I reached my breaking point a couple of weeks ago when um, I found out that someone very dear to me passed on in my family. And we've had a few passings before then in the family that's just really put a strain on my put a strain on myself and my family. I pride myself in being very strong, very put together, and so I never gave myself myself time to grieve or really process everything that was going on. And when the last, and when um, another major passing happened in my family, it all just came tumbling down, felt really, really overwhelming, and I felt helpless, hopeless. I felt, I don't know how I felt. I just felt like everything was slipping out of my hands and it broke me. So I didn't feel like recording. I didn't feel like picking up a makeup brush. I didn't feel like doing anything. So I didn't wear makeup. I couldn't work. I couldn't do anything. I felt hopeless. I felt not myself. I felt horrible. There were days where I didn't feel like getting out of bed. There were days where I just felt like, what's the point? But then I look at my son and he's like, mommy, 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 you know, he's so happy because he doesn't know what's going on. So I just always had to get myself out of bed just to help my son. And he's been my motivator. My husband as well has been a really strong rock for me. And I just felt like I had to tell myself that it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to process it. Let it happen as opposed to shoving it in the corner, hoping that um, it goes away because it really doesn't. So why am I telling you guys? Why am I rambling? I just want to say that if you are going through a really tough time in your life, um, I implore you to take some time to process it, take some time to let it go out of your system, try not to suppress it, try not to ignore it because God forbid something else happens, it will just rip you apart and you won't know where to start. Like I literally had to build myself, even just coming into my makeup room and just looking through my makeup because everything just felt overwhelming. I just didn't want to be part of anything. And that's my passion that I didn't even want to be part of. So I knew it had really reached my breaking point when I didn't even want to be around it. So yeah, that's my... TED talk on looking after yourself, especially your mental well-being. I know you hear it a lot and I know a lot of people are talking about it, but it is so important. You don't really know until you experience it. And I feel like I reached that point where, holy smokes, I should have taken care of myself a whole year. I mean, I didn't process any of it. I just, it happened, move on. But then layer after layer after layer kept stripping away everything all my barriers all my strongholds and then i was left with nothing so yeah definitely take time to process it definitely take time to take care of yourselves guys it is very important we are in very trying times 
and I just want to encourage you to look after yourself because you have no use to anyone if you're fully broken down and you can't help anybody you literally will be useless even to yourself so definitely look after yourself definitely take time to process anything that you're going through um, look after your family call your family speak to them make sure that you're in constant contact and just basically stay safe and look after you so I wanted to use this opportunity to let you guys know what I'm going through because everything isn't always about the glitz and glamour. Obviously, I'm a human being and I go through things as well. So I wanted to share what I've been going through as a family. We've been going through a really tough time. I've only just managed to stop myself from crying every five seconds. And literally, I would cry over everything. A broken pencil, anything. i just cry. So <laughs> I've literally been able to manage stopping myself from crying so now I feel like getting back into makeup is something that I can look forward to and I can continue to see it as my safe haven so I hope that the videos that I bring to you guys on this channel give you some sort of escape from anything that you're going through and gives you that 5, 10, 15 sometimes depending on how long my videos are 30 minutes of peace and quiet to really enjoy and be just in the moment and really just enjoy the video so I hope they bring you some joy and I will continue my best to bring some joy and light onto this channel but please know that I am human as well and I am going through my own struggles but we'll get through this together we're in this together and we are gonna get through this so this is five minutes of my TED talk so let's jump right into the video. If you do enjoy my videos, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm really thankful to the small community of people that I have. I appreciate every single one of you and I love you to death. And thank you so much for always reaching out to me. You guys are the best. So make sure you join my little community by subscribing and let's jump right into the testing video. Alright, so I've got quite a range of products from Revolution, we've got new makeup brushes, uh, primer, eyeshadow palette, we've got it all. So let's start off with the brows because that's normally what I start off with. I have used these uh, brow products already on my channel but I guess I never like highlighted them. These are the Laminate Brow from Revolution. Um, I do have two shades here, I've got Granite and I've got Dark Brown. They actually come in four shades. You've got blonde, medium brown, dark brown, and granite. And the colors that I've got is dark brown and granite. This is the component. And you've got a side where is the clear gel for you to pass through your brows so that it gives you that nice laminate effect. And then you've got the side where is the pencil, which is quite a thicker triangle type of pencil so these retail for seven pounds 99 and basically you just fill in your brows and then you use the clear gel to kind of just set your brows in place and give it a laminate effect so i'm going to go ahead and use this i do have one that i'm currently using in dark brown so rather than waste this one i'll keep this one as my backup and i'll use the other one and i actually do like the fact that it set me granite so i'll probably use that towards the tail end of my brows just to darken it a little bit so let's go. on and I do want to say that the part that I'm really happy with is the pencil nice and dark you do get a lot of pigmentation from the pencil and it does work its way nicely into the brow I also use the shade granite to fill out the tail end of my brow and you can see that it does have a really good pigmentation the part that falls short for me is the gel the clear gel part i don't think that that really slips down my brows and keeps it in place it doesn't really give me that full laminate effect that some other brow gels give all in all it's an okay product you do get a nice amount of pencil and i have been using this one for quite a while but um it's either because the amount of product that you get on the brow gel is not a lot so you have to keep dipping in which again changes the consistency of the gel or it just doesn't have that full laminate effect. 
okay now I'm gonna move on to the eyes so I do have an eyeshadow palette to try out for you guys and this is the ultimate nudes eyeshadow palette now revolution released three of these palettes and they are immediate dupes of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette now I don't have the Huda Beauty palette but I'll put up the pictures of the three eyeshadow palettes from makeup revolution and also pictures of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes so makeup revolution release light medium and dark and I do have the dark in front of me which is the one I actually really really wanted to try anyway and on the revolution website you do get swatches of all of them so definitely check it out if you're interested this little palette retails for six pounds and it is a gorgeous nine pound nine pan palette Gorgeous everyday colors. You do get a nice balance of matte and shimmer shades. You have five matte shades and then the rest of them are shimmer shades. The shimmer shades are described as glittery pigments. So I'm quite interested to try this one. And it is cruelty, uh, cruelty free and vegan. So this is the palette we're going to be using today. I've also got two of the ultimate eye bases from revolution i've got shade dark and i've got shade medium this is what they swatch like this is dark and this is medium these are supposed to be comparable to the p louise eye bases i have tested this eye base before in a previous video and i do love the effect of the eye base it does have like a sticky consistency which i absolutely love for my eyeshadows so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna create a look test another palette on one eye and then come back to you guys to show you the um, exact same look on the other eye but yeah so exciting love the packaging love the fact that I can see the shades and I'm really really hoping that this performs really well if you do not like pressed pigments make sure that you always check the ingredients and the back of the palette just to see which shades are pressed pigments just in case if you react to it it always has the ingredients written at the back and also on their website so yeah I'm gonna try that um and to create the eye look, I'm going to be using the Revolution brushes. I have taken them all out of their individual packaging and popped them here. They have like a really beautiful rose gold effect. You've got R written on it. They're all packaged beautifully. I still kept one of the packaging like this. And it says ultimate um, whatever brush it is. They all have brush numbers written here. And then you've got a little description of how to use the brush um, and the best part about the brush is say, it says antibacterial brush hair fibers help to reduce bacterial growth it's 100 percent synthetic and they all come nicely packaged like this i know you can get the whole brush set or you can get the eye or you can get the face brushes so i've taken them all of the packaging and popped them in here so i'm going to use the eye brushes to create this look and then be right back all right you guys this is a look i came up with the first thing i'm going to do is use the ultimate eye base in dark and i'm going to apply that all over my lid as i said before it's such a nice sticky base and if you're not really into eyeshadow and you've got my skin tone or darker you can apply this all over set up with a powder put a liner on and you're good to go because the color is just gorgeous start building up my outer corner I'm gonna go into the dark the ultimate news palette in dark and I'm gonna go in with this shade I'm also gonna use this brush from a revolution it is the R it is the R for fluffy blending brush this is about the only blending brush in the entire set you do have another brush which is the R2 which is the fluffy eye brush but it's quite small I feel like they're missing like a really nice fluffy brush like this one you know like a fluffy ben blending brush because this one's quite dense but we're gonna use this to really pack the shade onto the outer corner really love the look and feel of these brushes very easy to hold the handles are not slippery they're more like a matte finish they are um, rose gold spray pens painted so but they also have the brush name and number on it which is just really good really beginner friendly type of brushes and they look amazing on my vanity you can see how beautiful that shade is it's nice and pigmented the matte shades in this palette are really super nice and they blend out 
beautifully. So now I'm going in with that R2 brush and I'm going to go into a couple of shades because they're so similar in color. So I'm going to use this one, this one and this one to really just blend um, the outer corner just to give me that nice diffused effect. I really love the amount of browns in this palette because you can really use it to layer which you don't really get. Most people just put a transition color in a palette and call it a day but you really need other shades to really give it a nice diffused effect. Into that darker shade and really intensify any area that I have missed. You can see that it's just layering quite nicely and it's such a beautiful color combination. With that blend I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. It's just gonna be like a little crescent type of cut crease but to do that I'm gonna use the ultimate eye base in medium this time and I'm going to use this um, cut crease brush from Sigma. It's the E62 brush. Absolutely love it for like the shape of cut crease. It just makes it so easy to um, cut. Now, to, now for my lid, I do want to use these two shimmer shades. Now, I tried applying these with a brush and it didn't pick up as nicely. But when you use your finger, they are so pigmented. And they pick up really really beautifully you can see how they swatch on my hand but I did try applying it with a brush on here and I felt like I had to keep layering and layering and the brush that I used is the R11 detailed concealer brush because it's about the only one that looks like a packing brush of any kind there's no flat brush in this entire set so I'm gonna try and do exactly what I did on this eye I'll go ahead and apply with the brush first and then I'll go over it with my finger just so that I've got the same consistent um, application. You see how it looks so much better with the finger? So that's it for the eye look. For my wing liner, I'm going to use the Revolution Renaissance Flick. I believe this is what it's called. Um, eyeliner in black. Click, click, click <laughs> to get it rolling. All right, you guys. So that's it for the eyes for now. And then um, I'm going to do parts of my face. And then we go back and finish the under eye. So for my face, I do have a primer to test out. And this is the Revolution Liquid Powder Pore Blurring Makeup Serum. All right, so this retails for £10. It says, reduce and minimize the appearance of pores and oily skin with the Revolution Liquid Powder. This innovative pore blurring liquid to powder serum is made for our matte babes. So I've got oily skin, combination oily, so I, and I do love a matte finish. Um, it is a lightweight and comfortable formula that helps to even out your complexion, mattify and blur your pores. Infused with pink clay to help keep your skin looking matte for longer and rose extract for skin calming benefits and a gentle rose fragrance and to apply it says after your skincare routine add a few drops of the revolution liquid powder to your skin and blend with fingers or a light brush leave to dry for two minutes when the liquid powder is fully dry apply a foundation or complexion products on top and it is a dropper type of applicator so i'm gonna shake this up because i can see some things settled at the bottom so shake this up and apply and give it two minutes, see how it applies. I do love a matte finish and it says that it does have a rose fragrance. It isn't too overpowering. It does smell powdery. Ooh, it is very, very serum-y. <laughs> give me that. All right, you guys, I kid you not, my face feels like powder. Like you can even see it's matte. 
there is no oiliness in this direction at all so first impression i love it i love the way my face feels it feels really matte it feels like my foundation is going to sit quite nicely on it speaking of foundation the foundation that i want to test out today is not new new it is the revolution conceal and glow foundation this is about the i think the only one in this range that I didn't test out and I'm very happy that Revolution sent it to me because I actually do not have it at all in my collection. They sent me a few shades of this to try out. So the two shades that I picked out to try I've got 13. So I've got a couple of shades to test out. They sent me uh, 12.5, I've also got 13, I've got 14.2 and I've got a couple of other darker shades. So I'm sure you guys would have seen several reviews of these but I do want to test them out myself. So I've got 13 and 14.2 to try out but this is what the packaging looks like. Nice gold detailing on the packaging and it says conceal and glow. It does have a pump applicator which I love and you do get how many mil 23 mil of product it says illuminating foundation medium to full coverage with vitamin c lotus flower extract this comes in 20 shades so not a big range compared to all their other foundations the 13 which is f13 is for medium to dark skin tones with a golden undertone i have more of a yellow undertone but it's like most websites don't even consider us yellow people <laughs> and then the 14.2 says for dark skin tones with an olive undertone so I want to pump the two of them just so that I can see in my other foundations from revolution I usually go for 13 or 13.5 so you can see the difference so this one is 13 so that's f13 and that's f 14.2 14.2 really does have that olive little bit of green underneath 13 is a lot warmer and that's probably the one I'm gonna have to go for I will test out 12.5 just to see what that one looks like so I've swatched 12.5 over here 12.5 is described as medium to dark skin tones with a golden undertone so this is definitely lighter than 13 over here so I don't know I think I'm just gonna go with the 13 because that's the one that I normally go for so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that so so on the website is described as buildable coverage foundation pumped with brightening vitamin C plus light reflecting pearl particles for the ultimate glow um, you get a radiant finish simply blend over your complexion blah 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 so it's got vitamin C, radiant finish, glow, we got it. So I've got a matte base, so this should work perfectly. It's going to go ahead and pump 13, see what that looks like on my face. To do that, I'm going to use the R7 Buffing Foundation Brush. See how that performs with the brush. This is typically how I like to apply foundation. I guess it is safe to say that Revolution does need to expand the shade range of this foundation. Um, but this is literally the pumps that you saw me put on my face. So I am going to layer this because it said medium to full coverage and I need to cover my imperfections. So let's go. I do want to mention that there is another foundation brush in the brush set. And this is the angled foundation brush. And this is the R8 brush and it's tapered. So it really gets into the corners, but I really love the buffing one. So we're going to go ahead and keep using that one. I do want to say that this brush is buffing out quite nicely in as much as it is a runny foundation I feel like it's not soaking up the product and it's really 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 buffing it in right so I don't have any new concealer to test out but it's been ages since I used the conceal and define 
concealer so I've got 12.5 here to try but I do have a new sponge from Revolution. This is the Revolution Create Ultimate Powder Sponge. Retails for £4.99. It is a unique microfiber sponge. Perfect for liquids or powders. You can use this to apply your foundation, your cream products, your liquid products. And you can use it dry to apply powder. Yeah. So it says the unique microfiber... It's perfect for picking up powder-based products infused with special antibacterial coating to help prevent bacterial growth. So this will be perfect for um, makeup artists or the like. But today I'm not going to use it to do my foundation. I've already used the brush. But I do want to test out how it performs with cream. So I'm going to use it to apply my concealer. And I also use it to apply my powder. From memory I thought 12.5 was a little lighter. I guess not. Or maybe I've just gone lighter myself. But I love this concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. Point blank period. Revolution did their thing with this concealer. Alright, so let's use the bottom part. This sponge reminds me of the one, I think it's from Juno and Co. The microfiber. I've never used one. It's got microfiber, so um, it's quite intriguing. Love it though. Wow. It's like it's smoothing out my skin at the same time. It's hardly anything on the sponge. <laughs> How is this possible? And I did wet the sponge, guys, but it just feels just slightly damp. Look at the sponge. There's hardly any product on the sponge. Like, none of it has been has gone into the sponge. To set that in place, I'm going to use the banana powder. I haven't used this in ages. I'm just going to flip it over to the other side and get some powder. Wow. I like this sponge. Hello. Off the bat, this is a good sponge. And I think I need loads of these sponges from Revolution. Hardly any concealer product on it. Hardly any. And the powder is just flawless. It just blends out flawlessly. So I think I, I'm going to need to pick up a couple of these sponges from Revolution because they're amazing. Just to set the rest of my face lightly, I'm going to use the... R12 Ultimate Powder Brush. It's nice and big and fluffy and I'm going to use the Revolution Pro CC Powder. I've got mine in shade Warm Golden. Oh, such a nice big old powder brush. I love. I wish it was a little fluffier and not as dense being that it's a powder brush but I'm not mad at it. I love it. It feels nice and it feels super soft. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to use the R3 Buffing Eye Crease Brush to just blend out my lower lash line I'm using the darkest matte shade from the palette and then I'll go in with the middle shade just to smooth underneath the eye. For my eyeliner, I use the Revolution Black Eye Pencils, the eye call. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend. For bronzer today, I'm going to use the R9 Sculpting Powder brush and the Revolution Glow bronzer in dark. I'm going to use this to kind of like chisel out my cheeks. There's also a brush here called the Defining Contour brush. So if I was using like a cream product, I'd probably use this to really chisel it in. But I love using brushes like this for like powder bronzers just because it just feels really really soft. And with powder, I don't like it too defined. I just love to really just blend it out and give me that contour and also bronzing, warm effect on my cheeks. So, Using the same sculpting powder brush, I'm going to use the Patricia Bright X Revolution You Are Gold um, Face Palette. And I'm going to use this blush. 
right here. It is very pigmented, so I'm only going to go a little bit. Give me that. For mascara, I'm going to use the 5D Lift and Define Mascara. I have reviewed this on one of my previous Revolution videos, so definitely check that out. But I absolutely love the um, mascara, I think it performs really well and it does lengthen and fill up my lashes quite nicely. So if you are on the hunt for a good mascara that's not going to irritate your eyes, definitely check out this one. I fully, fully recommend Revolution did a really good job with this particular mascara. Love. Right, so I've got this product. I can't seem to find it on the Revolution website right now, but this is the Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. Looks like this. Really looks like the Morphe, you know, misting setting mist spray packaging. Um, it says ultra matte finish with aloe and vitamin E, and makeup fixing spray. So basically. Ultimate hold fixing spray clings to your makeup with added aloe and vitamin E. So let's see what the mist is like. I like to shake these up and test them. Okay, that looks like a fine mist. It does have a little bit of a smell, but it's like a nice refreshing flowery smell. I don't think there's anything that's gonna annoy me, so It isn't like a long hold type of mist, kind of like it just goes, disperses quite fast, so. It does feel really nice on the skin. I'm going to let that settle in and see what it looks like. So my face is still drying. It is taking its sweet time to dry, but for the areas that are dried, it looks really good. I think it set my face quite nicely, so we'll see how that looks in a couple of minutes because I'm sat under really, really bright and hot lights. For my highlighter, I want to use the R5 brush. This is the fluffy highlighter brush, nice and tapered. And I'm going to go back into that Patricia Bright X Revolution, use the highlighter shade in there. I don't actually really use that, so I don't really know what the formula of this highlighter is. Because I think I got this after I had after I picked up the eyeshadow palette or was given the eyeshadow palette by Revolution. But this is what it looks like. It's quite pretty. It's quite a pretty highlighter. It's one of those really thick formulas, isn't it? Isn't like very loose. I do have a little blemish there, but we don't know her. I think I'm just gonna go into the blush a little bit just to give it more of a warmer type of highlight. I love the brush, very precise. Very, very precise. Lashes, which I'm gonna put on last. The last thing I have to do is my lips. I've got this palp balm from Revolution. This one is called Dripping. It's the Hydra Balm Lip Gloss with Peptides and Hyaluronic Acid. It looks like this. It's the one that's got the droplets on it. It's a beautiful shade. That's what it looks like. Beautiful mauve shade. I don't think I have this particular one in my collection. So I'm going to go ahead, line my lips and apply it. So this is the finished look guys, let me know what you think. I am absolutely loving the glam, the lips, everything is just gorgeous. So I wanted to quickly highlight some of my favourites from the products that I've tested today. This is obviously a first impression but first impressions last a lifetime. So I wanted to give you guys my first thoughts about the products that really stood out to me. Let's kick this off with the brushes. I think the brushes are such a great investment. Synthetic brushes last 
ages and they feel really nice and soft on the skin really love the packaging and i really love the, i really love the packaging of the brushes i love the fact that they come individually so you don't have to buy the full set you can only pick up the brushes that you are interested in i do feel like there is a fluffy blending brush missing in this entire eye collection but i think all the face brushes are well and truly accounted for you've got the contour brush which is great for cream products you've got powder brush you've got um concealer brush like you've got the brushes for the face but i think for the eye brushes they could have added one more just to make it a really full eye brush set and they could have also added a packing brush or a shader brush so those are the type of brushes that are missing but as i said you can buy them individually i love the packaging it looks amazing on my vanity and this is a case i got from amazon i do have a set of these color brushes and they just fit quite nicely in there rose gold effect gorgeous so i'm here for the brushes plus they are um affordable so definitely check out revolution page you guys know revolution goes on sale quite a lot so keep your eyes on those brushes if they do go on sale or a little bit of discount you can definitely pick it up as a set or break it up into face brushes eye brushes or individually so the brushes definitely stand out to me as a really good buy another one that stands out to me is the liquid powder um primer oh my goodness i didn't think that i would feel the full effect of the primer by just using it the very first time and boy did i my skin felt really really nice and matte ready for the foundation i did combine it with the revolution glow which has more of a luminous finish so i do love my matte finishes so this really balanced well with this um foundation if you've got dry skin you have no business being near this um primer because it's really going to suck up your oils and you're gonna be hella dry for me I've got combination to oily so this feels really comfortable but looks really matte and I absolutely love the finish if you've got dry skin the revolution glow foundation would work really nicely for you on its own or if you've got a hydrating primer you can use it and I do love the coverage of this foundation it is medium buildable I did build it and it still feels really really comfortable on my skin so two of them for me are a match made in heaven if you've got oily skin definitely try this combination out it gives you a nice balance your face doesn't feel too dry and you're definitely not oily or breaking out as you guys can see there are no oils anywhere near my face my face looks matte but still snatched so i'm here for this primer i'm definitely going to be picking up backups because revolution are known for discontinuing things that are amazing so i'm definitely going to check out this one Speaking of products as well, the sponge definitely blew me away. You guys saw it in the demo as I used it. It literally basically almost has no product on it. It didn't absorb the concealer at all. And as I said, it can be used for liquid, for cream. As I said, it can be used for liquid, for powder. And it didn't suck up my, my cream product, my concealer at all. And it blended quite nicely. Also use it to set my under eye with my powder and that finish is so smooth so I'm definitely gonna be picking up some more of these sponges love it and I did wet it it was slightly smaller but it did it's not a dripping type of sponge it just feels really really nice on the skin so definitely check this out guys whatever microfiber that they use on that sponge amazing it just reminds me of the Juno and Co which I never tried but I heard had great reviews um, another thing that st stands out to me today is the ultimate nudes palette now I don't have the Huda Beauty palette but this color story definitely screams Huda Beauty to me and I love it I love how easy it is to use now I'm not a fan of shades that you cannot pick up nicely with a brush I'm not a fan of shades where you always have to use your finger but this one because it's so gorgeous I mean I can give it a pass if you're in a hurry you can definitely use your finger and apply it and you're good to go comes up more pigmented if you use your finger but those matte shades blend out beautifully and they layer quite nicely so if you're looking for an everyday type of eyeshadow palette small compact with a little bit of zhuzh glow definitely check out this one as i said it comes in light and medium and this is the dark color story definitely could do with a darker color story just for my darker melanin sisters but this is so nice i know that it's a it's a dupe 
I believe it's a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette. Let me know if you guys have that palette and what you think in terms of the color story. I don't know anything about the finish, but the finish of this one really impressed me. Plus, they're so inexpensive. So if you're interested, I know Beauty Bay sells them as well. And Beauty Bay often have discount codes, so you can definitely check it out. So does Revolution. So keep your eye out if you are interested in that. And then the Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. This and this together literally has me locked in. I'm sitting under studio lights that are hella hot. And I don't even feel like my skin or my foundation is breaking down anytime soon. So I'm definitely... I think I'm gonna be checking this. I wish that the mist was a little longer as opposed to like bursts and you know. I wish it had like that full misting effect that the Morphe misting spray has but nonetheless this guy is really holding me and it feels like there's quite a lot of product in here. You do get um five fluid ounce of product which is 150 ml of product which is amazing. I don't have my Morphe um, setting mist anywhere around me but I will check how many that is and put it on the screen but yeah I'm, I'm here for it it's got vitamin E it's got aloe so it definitely is good for my skin and it did keep my foundation really nicely locked in supporting the primer of course and those are the main products that jump out to me that I haven't reviewed before you guys already know how I feel about some of the other products another honorable mention that definitely you should check out I've mentioned it quite a few times is the ultimate eye base great eye base if you're looking for an inexpensive one the p louise ones to me are also inexpensive because she goes on sale quite often but the revolution ones are really good as well and very very sticky and help to make sure that the foundation looks really good i also used it to clean up underneath my brows and it worked really nicely so yeah if you're on the hunt definitely check it out medium and dark are the ones that i swatch and also the 5d lash is amazing you guys know how i feel absolutely love the gloss bombs i love the gloss anything from revolution because they have really amazing lip products that i live for and that's basically my quick fire thoughts about them i didn't want this video to be too too long so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up every single product that i use will be listed in the description box below and i'll try my best to find shopping links for you guys as well those links are affiliated any money made from affiliate codes are used to help help my channel progress, grow, help my hustle, you know, so please, if you do love me and you do want to pick up these products, please use those affiliate links. It's no extra cost to you. It just means that I've got a little bit of shmoney to add to supporting my channel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today. Black lives always matter and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.